Hello, today we are building an earthquake detector with alarm on the phone via the internet. An extremely simple project that requires only four electrical connections, but with an extraordinary impact. We will learn how to program a microcontroller like Arduino or ESP32 with a few drag and drop mouse movements. A very easy project even for beginners. What is the advantage of this type of communication? The difference in the propagation speed of the two characteristic waves of an earthquake, the P wave and the S wave. The P wave will always be felt before the S wave. The P wave feels like a sudden vertical movement and is harmless. The S wave, which produces horizontal motion and which produces destruction, is felt later. The P wave has a speed of 6 km per second and appears first on the seismograph screens, and the S wave, 4 km per second. The difference between the movement speed makes it possible to calculate the depth at which the earthquake occurs. Our project speculates on this difference in displacement between the two characteristic waves of an earthquake. Practically, the further we are from the epicenter of an earthquake, the more time we have available from receiving the alert. The sensor can be placed in an area with high seismic risk with the Wi-Fi network, and the phone will receive the alert via the internet in our area of residence. We gain important seconds, which can even save our lives. What do we need? For a Wi-Fi controller, I chose ESP32, an MPU6050 gyroscopic sensor, the Remote XY application and the Visuino software. We open the Remote XY application and create an account. We go to the editor and the first step is to declare which components we use in the configuration menu. In our case, Cloud Communication, ESP32 board with Wi-Fi integrated in the motherboard. choose from the left side the components that will appear on the screen. We need to monitor an activity, so we need an indicator. We choose graphic and sound warning. We also choose a text that will appear when the alert is received. We edit the colors and sizes of the components as we wish. The Remote XY application allows up to 5 elements on the screen without paying anything. If you want more elements, you will have to buy the paid version. In our project there are less than 5 elements, so it's free. Open the Visuino software. With this software we can program a microcontroller such as Arduino or ESP32 only by drag and drop mouse movements. You can find the download link in the description and many other projects and tutorials. Start a new project. We choose the board model. I use the ESP32 Lolan model, because it has a 5V pin through which I can feed the MPU6050 sensor. The first time we connect the board to the Wi-Fi network where the device will be located. Open the Wi-Fi section and add an access point. Complete with the network password and the SSID. The SSID represents the name of the Wi-Fi network. In the socket section, add TCP IP client to the left. Add the XY remote component and drag it to the left. We return to the XY remote application and copy the code from the application to the Visuino component. 
The declared components will automatically appear, in our case the graphic, the text, and the audio component. We choose the communication protocol. In the My Token section we create a new key and copy it into Visuino. I was looking for the text value component, I chose earthquake. We order it with a pulse generator. The text will flash on the screen depending on the frequency value in the pulse generator component. We add, compare analog value, and set the threshold at which they change their state from 0 to 1. We choose values for, low, and high. We add a logic gate, or. When any input is high, the output has a high value. By changing these values, you set the sensitivity of the device. The logic gate commands a time component, when it is triggered it changes the output to high for a time of 5 seconds for the audio and text alarm. The inverted component resets the pulse generator component to erase the text on the screen every time the detector stops. We can choose the alarm sound. We complete it in Visuino when creating the code. We connect the three outputs of the gyroscope together and pass them through a map range component to display correctly on the phone screen. We set the input values to maximum 10 and minimum to minus 10.
We load the code into the microcontroller, making sure that the settings are correct for the port and the board model. Download the XY Remote application from the Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS. Here we copy the value from the My Token section. The MPU 6050 accelerometer will be placed in such a way that the sensitivity is maximum on the Y axis for vertical movement. If you like my projects, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.